sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. I'm here again with another Marlins game from 1994. And the Marlins are not doing well. Let's take a look at the, uh, the league stats. You can see we are 0-6. And in real life, the Marlins were three and three. So this version of the team that I'm playing, and really the computer is doing some quick sims because we are a little ways down the road from where we were in the last game that I put up on the site. Um, we are are doing worse than the actual Marlins did. Zero oh, and six. Let's take a look at the statistics uh, for the uh, Marlins. As you can see, we're only hitting 234, and once you get past Conine, well, no, once you get past really Abbott, nobody's really hitting very well at all. And um, <coughs> not a lot of home runs. Six games, we got five homers, and we have a 507 team ERA, which is not helping our, our cause at all. And Mark Gardner is 0-1 uh, with a 21 ERA, and then has a 54 earned run average in two-thirds of an inning pitched. So we may have to get Nen some work, if for no other reason, just to try to get that ERA down, regardless of whether there's a save situation or not. And with an 0-6 record, that's probably why he's only pitched two-thirds of an inning, is because we probably didn't run into a lot of save situations. So uh, let's get on with the, um, the game. Uh, as you can see, uh, let's see here. No, Houston is going, we're playing Houston. They're gonna be the computer. We're going to be the human. We're gonna have Pat Rapp going up against Greg Swindell. The lineup for Houston is going to be Craig Biggio at second, Kevin Smallmouth Bass in right field, Jeff Bagwell at first, Ken Caminiti at third base, Luis Gonzalez in left, Steve Finley in center, Cedeno at shortstop, Scott Surveys at catcher. I think he's the manager of the Mar Mariners right now. And Greg Swindell, the pitcher batting ninth. For us, we're gonna line up as Chuck Carr in center field, Jerry the Governor Brown at third, Sheffield in right, Conine in left, Santiago at catcher, Magadan at first, Kurt Abbott at shortstop, Brett Barbary at second, and Pat Rapp, the pitcher batting ninth. So with all of that having been said, let's get going. And we are at home against Houston, and Biggio will be the first batter going up against Pat Rapp. And let me extend this over, or at least, there we go. Um, so, and let me pull myself over here, maybe up here. All right, so Biggio batting against Pat Rapp. I think we're set. And Biggio is going to fly out, it looks like, to Conine. One down. And here comes Kevin Smallmouth Bass. Did he strike out? No, he walked. So he walked, and now Bagwell is up. And that's going to be a rip right between the holes. So they got two men on with one out and Ken Caminiti up. And he is going to ground out to second uh, into a fielder's choice. And there's two down with Luis Gonzalez at the plate. Not going to walk him. And he strikes out. So we get out of that inning, and now we're facing Greg Swindell with Chucky Carr. Chucky Carr hitting 192 on the year, but maybe he just went shopping at the Gap. Or even a home run. I'll take that, too. Nope, it's an out. It's a deep fly out. So uh, the governor, Jerry Brown, is up. 
And he is going to fly out, looks like, for the second out of the first inning for us. And then Chef, the Chef is up, Gary Sheffield. And it looks like he's going to bounce out to short. And so we go to the top of the second, Rap facing Finley. Finley, of course, started his career. He was a terrible hitter, but then he came on later in his career to be a really good hitter and a power hitter as well. Um, and Harsadeno, their shortstop, is at the plate. And it looks like he will fly to Chef if Chef plays the ball. And he does. And then Scott Servet. Yes, he is the Mariners manager. I wouldn't know him anywhere. And he grounds out to second base. So we got Conine up leading off the bottom of the third for us against Swindell. And he's going to strike out. Santiago is up. Trying to get us our first win. If you're just tuning in, we're 0-6. And, and here is Dave Magadan with two down and nobody on. And Dave Magadan is going to be out. And so we go to the top of the third in a scoreless game. Swindell... Um, at the plate against his counterpart out on the mound, Pat Rapp, who strikes him out. Craig Biggio up back to the top of the order for Houston. And did he? No, he walked. So Kevin Smallbouth passes up with Biggio aboard. That should be a ground out, hopefully, into a double play. No, it's a fielder's choice. Biggio moves to second, and Bagwell's up with two down. Rap should be able to get out of this. And that is going to be a base hit, and he doesn't get out of it. It's a base hit that scored a run, and so Caminiti's up, and Bagwell stole second, and Kamen, or there was a wild pitch, something like that. And that is going to be, I'm going to throw for the runner. That's a base hit. I'm going to let it go through for the plate, and he scores. So we're down 2 nothing. Sooner or later, Rap has to get these guys out. And that's not what they didn't do it there either. So it's 3 0, and Gonzalez is at first with Finley up. And that's going to be a pop out to Brown. So we've got Kurt Abbott up in the bottom of the third. We are now uh, batting against Swindell after that disastrous three run allowed inning. And a team like us, we can't afford to give up three runs in one inning or three runs, period, probably. Barbary is up with a man aboard, no outs. But he strikes out. I'm going to let Rap hit. <coughs> Not even going to sacrifice. With one out, sacrificing, to me, sacrificing is a bad idea. But it's an even worse idea. And there you go, Rap walked. It's an even worse idea with one out already in the inning. So Chuck Carr is up, and he got a golden opportunity, but he blew it, and so now it leaves it up to Brown to try to get somebody in and bring us closer. That is going to be a slow roller. Maybe he can get a base hit out of that. No, he cannot. So we go to the top of the fourth. It's 3-0 Houston leading us. Who We are the, the uh, Florida Marlins, and we're the 0-6 Florida. There's one down with Survey up at the plate. Service, whatever, however you pronounce his name. And that is an out. And Swindell is up. Hopefully that should be an, an easy out for Rap. And then we'll go to the bottom of the fourth. And uh, still down 3 nothing. We got the Chef up. The Chef. Did he get a base hit? No. Conine is up. See, that's the problem. I mean, this lineup only has like two good hitters in it. Conine and Sheffield. Maybe Magadan. So Conine flies out. There's two down. And you got Benito. Uncle Benito Santiago. 
And he's out. So we're going to the top of the fifth. This game is moving right along because they've only scored in one inning and we haven't scored at all. And the pitcher has been injured. So uh, we are going to have to replace him with somebody. And I'm going to guess we're going to say um, Hernandez because he hasn't pitched yet. So you got Jeremy Hernandez out there on the mound for his uh, season debut, and he allows a double down the line on his season debut. And now with Biggio at second, he's pitching to Bagwell, who's two for two, and maybe three for three, and maybe with a home run. Uh, no, he was out. So that's – or no, no, that was a double. He hit a double. So – he doubles in the uh, fourth run, and now Caminiti's at the plate. Jeremy Hernandez not pitching really well coming in here. That's going to be a pop-out to Magadan, though. And with two down, we have Luis Gonzalez at the plate. He sh that should be a ground out, and it is. But we gave up another run. It's 4 nothing with Magadan at the plate. And Magadan hits a slow roller. Can he get a base hit out of it? That's the question. And he does. And that brings up Kurt Abbott. And Kurt Abbott rips a hit between the uh, feelers, and we're going to just hold the runners. Brett. The Barbary is up. And Brett Barbary, what do we got here? Twin killing. All right, I got a pinch hit for Jeremy Hernandez. I suppose I have to. Um, with a man at third, we're going to pinch hit Arius. And Arius looks like he's going to pop out. And that's why I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to get more innings for Hernandez. But anyway, we're not doing that, obviously. Um, Lewis has seven innings. So what about Matthews? Matthews has four. I'll bring in Matthews. Uh, let's see. So Matthews goes out to pitch to Finley, who is leading off the sixth inning for Houston. And he's going to hit what's hopefully a fly ball to Carr for the first out, and it is. Cedeno is up, and a hard Cedeno. And that looks like that can be a ground out, and it is, and survey service is up. And did he get a hit? No, he did not. So we are back up at the plate in the bottom of the six, down four nothing. And that is going to be a grounder to first, one away. The governor, Jerry Brown, is up. And he's going to line out, and Sheffield is up. So, Swindell's at the plate against Matthews here to lead off the seventh. And that's a strikeout. Biggio is up. Biggio is going to fly a pop out, pop out. And Kevin Smallmouth Bass is up at the plate. Two down for Houston. Here in the seventh, and it looks like that's a ground out. 
And it is. So we got Cool Nine leading off in the bottom of the seventh for us. Down four nothing. Still catchable. I mean, this is still a uh, you know winnable game, but we gotta start hitting. We gotta start getting on base. We gotta start doing some stuff offensively. Santiago, but we can't because Swindell has just been shutting us down. He's been closing the doors. So Dave Magadan up at the plate, and that's going to be a ground ball to Bagwell, and we're out of the inning. And I am going to go get um, right now. I'm going to go bring in Nen because he really needs the innings. So Nen is going to pitch to Bagwell, who's three for three with a double. I mean, the guy has been a fire in our face this game. And he's going to fly out, it looks like, to Conine. No, it drops in for a hit. Conine couldn't get it. All right, so we got Caminiti up with Bagwell at first. And that is going to hopefully be a fly out to Carr. And it is. Gonzalez is up. And he is out. And that brings up Finley. And Bagwell, again, I guess, steals second. I don't know. And then there's a line out. So we get out of that inning, then gets us out of that inning. We're still down 4 nothing though. I mean, we still got to make up those four runs. Kurt Abbott is up. He's two for two. That's going to be a ground out. No, it's an error. Nice. And now Barbary is up. Let's see if we can start to put something together here. I'm going to let Nen hit. I mean. And he gets a slow roller and it's an E5. He gets on. It's a two base error. So there's runners at second and third. With only one out and Chuck Carr up. Swindell has to hate this. Both guys that are on were on by errors. And that's going to be a deep fly that'll score a run at least. Offense must decide to send or hold the runner on third? You mean that's not even a guaranteed run? Uh hmm. I'm going to hold. We'll hold and hope Jerry Brown can get a hit. And he can. And we're going to hold the runner. So it's 4-1 to one now. Sheffield up. If Sheff hits a home run, I mean, we got a tie game, right? You know what I'm saying? Except looks like, no, he's going to let Swindell pitch. But that is going to be an out. No, yes, it is. It's an out. All right, so we go to the top of the ninth. We're down four to one. Sedano up for Houston. Base hit between short and third base, so he's on with service up. And service is going to fly out to Conine. There's one away. And they're going to pinch hit. They're going to send up Tony Eusebio. Eusebo, I forget how to pronounce his name. I mean, I remember the guy, but he strikes out and then, and then that brings up Bijo, two down. And what happened there? No, he got him, he walked him. So Kevin Bass is up with two runners on and two down. Get us out of this, Nen. All right, he strikes him out. So we're up in the bottom of the ninth. Uh, they got a new pitcher. It is uh, John Hudek. Hudek. And uh, Conine is going to face him. And Conine, did he hit a home run? Did Conine go deep? Yeah, she's gone. All right, so it's 4-2 now. Now we're getting a little bit of hope here. Santiago is up. No, Santiago out. All right, Magadan's up. You got a lefty going against a righty. Favorable matchup. 
and he does walk, and Kurt Abbott is up, and he's two for three today. Got to think maybe this is another key time for him, but he strikes out, and Brett Barbary, who's 0 for three, is at the plate with two down. And he walks, and Nen is up, and of course I'm going to pinch hit for Nen. Um, Kudek is a righty who's a 2L. Hmm. Well, um, I'm going to pinch hit Carrillo. Carrillo pinch hitting, come on, man. And that is, that's, well, no, it's not. So we got the bases loaded, Chuck Carr up. Chuck Carr, terrible, hitting 167 on the year. But they're going to bring in uh, Williams, Brian, Brian Williams. Hopefully this helps. And he walked and forced in the third run. Nice. The governor, Jerry Brown, you got to let him bat. I mean, he's one for four, and he's not really doing well lately. And they bring in Hampton. Hampton to face Brown, which moves Brown to the other side of the plate. And what happened here? Is that a base hit? Is it going to fall in? No, it didn't. And we come up just short. Got to believe that's probably happening a lot. But anyway, yeah, we lose 4-3. Valiant last-minute comeback there. Uh, Pat Rapp was injured. So we'll look at you. You can see the box score for the hitters right there. I mean, some of these batting averages are abysmal. And then you can see uh, we're 0-7. I mean, that was pretty good, an 0-6 team going against what was a 5-1 and team coming in, and we lost 4-3. But still, we lost. So we are 0-7 now. And uh, Rapp pitching four innings, allowing four earned runs, and eight ERA on the year for him. Hernandez pitched one, allowed nothing. Matthews pitched two, allowed nothing. Nen pitched two, allowed nothing. That wasn't, I mean, the, the damage was done when Rap was out there. Our relief, you know, our bullpen did real well. So that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off from Marlin Stadium.